Let's do a revision question on radioactivity in GCSE physics. This is a question from the 2021 Edexcel paper one. Alpha, beta and gamma are three types of radioactive emission. Which statement describes all of these radioactive emissions. So let's have a look at them one by one. A is ionizing and emitted by stable nuclei. Well, that's not true because if they were stable, they would not be emitting anything. B, ionizing and emitted by unstable nuclei. This one here will, uh, is definitely true. Now for the purpose of completion, let's see why those are not true. Um, C, neutral and emitted by stable nuclei. This is wrong on two levels. First of all, not all of them are neutral. Only gamma is neutral and it's emitted by unstable nuclei. And D, neutral and emitted by unstable nuclei. So this bit here, neutral, is incorrect in both of those cases. Okay, part B. Fluorine 19 is a stable isotope of the element fluorine and describe one similarity and one difference between the number of particles in one nucleus of fluorine 19 and one nucleus of a radioactive isotope of fluorine. Okay, because if it's fluorine, then the number of protons will be the same, otherwise it will be a different chemical element. So the similarity will be the same number of protons, so we can write this, the same number of protons, and a difference is the number of neutrons. Okay, next one, figure three shows a Geiger-Muller tube, so this is just here, and that is used to measure the activity of a beta source. The counter is switched on, and after one minute it shows a count of 268 particles. So what we do is we remove the aluminium sheet. Counter is reset to zero and then switched on again. A new count is taken for one minute. So the time is the same, one minute each. Explain why the new count is greater than 268. Now first of all, with the aluminium sheet, it actually in place that absorb some of the particles. So without the sheet, more of the particles will reach the detector. And I have worded this like so, the aluminium sheet absorbs some beta particles, and if you remove it, with, i.e. without it, more particles reach the GM tube. Okay, next one, the beta source is then also taken away. So we remove the source completely, then we repeat the same process, give a reason why there will now be a reading on the counter. So we just have the GM tube alone and nothing else. Why is there still a reading? Well, there's natural background radiation from cosmic rays, from rocks, from the Earth itself, a number of different reasons. And we can just summarize this with a simple couple of words saying, background radiation. State the SI unit for the activity of a radioactive source and this is the Becquerel which um, is given the uh, two symbols B and Q. If you were to write this it's spelled I'm pretty sure like this. Okay Next one, we have radium-223 is a radioactive source, and that is an alpha emitter. Well, given the half-life is 11 days, and it contains 1.7 times 10 to the 23 nuclei, calculate the number of nuclei remaining after a time of 33 days. Okay, well, let's do a half-life calculation. So, 33 days is three half-lives. So therefore to calculate it, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 1.7 times 10 to the power of 23. And after 11 days, I'm going to get a factor of a half. So I'm multiplying it by a half. After another 11 days, I'm also going to get a factor of a half. And after another 11 days, or a total of 33 days, I'm going to get another factor of a half. So overall, this is the same as 1.7 times 10 to 23 divided by 
two times two times two, or essentially multiplying it by half three times. If you were to put this into a calculator, we are going to get 2.125 times 10 to the power of 22 particles. Excellent work guys, we've managed to revise an entire real past paper question on nuclear physics and radiation. This is not the entire topic though, in order to have a look at this entire topic you need to have a look at this video right over here.